Professor Santilli, what is your opinion on the condition of physics today? It is my opinion that we are living in, uh, during one of the biggest scientific obscurities in history because Einstein theories are imposed via academic power or political manipulations for all conceivable possible conditions existing in the universe from the most um, minute components of elementary particles all the way to the largest possible distance in the universe. In, um, in the physical reality, Einstein theory are valid under the conditions stated by Einstein. That is for point particles and electromagnetic waves moving in vacuum. We have now a rather massive mathematical, theoretical and experimental evidence that continues to be ignored by academicians in the field as well as governmental agencies according to which Einstein theory cannot be exactly valid for, uh, for the so-called interior physical conditions such as in the interior of, of uh, hadrons, protons and neutrons and other strongly interacting particles in the interior of nuclei as well as in the interior of stars as well as also for intergalactic spaces because they are physical media. It is my opinion that this scientific obscurantism has caused an immense damage to mankind uh, due to the suppression of serious scientific democracy for qualified inquiries. In fact, um, there is now evidence that, um, that um, this enormous uh, radiation disaster in Japan could have been avoided, prevented, in the event uh, the scientific community allowed, allowed the surpassing of Einstein theory by a theory more adequate for the description of irreversible processes such as nuclear fusion. I assume uh, the listener knows that all, uh, all theory based on Einstein doctrines are reversible over time and therefore they cannot possibly describe in an exact way the process such as the nuclear fusion which is strictly irreversible. In any case, um, um, the new uh, radiation-free um, fusions are already at an advanced stage. Their existence has been established beyond credible doubt and of course now they are on the industrial development for the future for future um, availability to mankind. The point is however persists that in the event we had in our scientific community we had minimum, minimum of dignity and uh, scientific democracy for qualified inquiries. It is my uh, conviction that those energy will be available 20, 30, 40, 40 years ago. Finally, I have to be on record by indicating that this scientific obscurantism um, has caused um, a major abuse of public funds that could be estimated in the range of billions of dollars. The, the reason being uh, is that um, the, 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 all this large investment, for instance, in particle physics, are, are all um, allowed under the condition of verifying Einstein's special relativity and, uh, and relativistic quantum mechanics. However, their validity in the interior of, uh, of hadrons has not been established experimentally. It is assumed, a prioristically, as a political posture. So uh, since uh, the basic theories have not been uh, established on serious, protracted, experimental, extensive, detailed, and multiple independent experimental verification of their validity or invalidity, since we do not have this base, the totality of the investment in particle physics in the last 20, 30 years for billions of dollars, it is questionable in my view, as it is by according to a number of papers published in referee journals. Once the foundation of a theory are at stake, the entire results, the numerical value are considered experimental beliefs by the individual experimentalist. And certainly cannot uh, cannot be claimed to, to, to be scientific truth. Oh, <laughs>